Uh, joining us from New York is uh, Jackie Mason, comedian Jackie Mason. Jackie, how are you doing? Well, pretty good. Thanks a lot, especially since I heard this introduction. If I wasn't sure of myself, now I now I have ultimate confidence. You know, <laughs> I found out that in your humble opinion, I, how do I know that you're so humble? <laughs> Everybody, when they offer an opinion, says it's my humble opinion, but they be, wouldn't be offering this opinion if they weren't so humble. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Why is it always a humble opinion? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's how it sounds. But <laughs> yeah. you, uh, what do you think of you know the, the wonderful thing about you, Jackie Mason? You've not been shy to give your opinion on world events right. on the Middle East. Uh, you've you know you're you're you know may I say you're way ahead of your time in terms of uh, those in entertainment today wandering into uh, to current affairs. What's your opinion of our current president? I think if you will go down in history, it's probably. On the list of either the first, second, or third vice president of American history, there's nothing that he made better since he became president. Everything he's touched, he's made worse. And the only time he made something better is when he stole the policy that Bush adopted in the first place, which he condemned in the first place, and then and then instituted it and took credit for it. That's right. Like the war in Iraq, he said, is a disaster. He told General Petraeus, together with Hillary Clinton, that that he's worthless. Betray us is what they said to him. Betray us. They coined that phrase, betray us, which they addressed betray us with those, those words. They condemned him. They, 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 they abused him. They were vulgar and disgusting in the way they attacked him. And there were, nobody would know he's America's top general. You would think he was a bum off the street the way they spoke to him. Then we start winning the war. And then we win the war. And you know what President Obama says? Thank God I did it again. Look at this great victory I accomplished. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Now it he's taking credit for a war that he said could never be won. He wanted to close out the war. If it was up to him, we would have lost the war <laughs> five years ago. <laughs> because they, they had no confidence or hope for every winning this war. And they condemned Bush every day and called him the most vicious, ugly names you ever heard. And then now he's taking credit for it that he doesn't even mention that Bush had something to do with it. He's a hypocrite of the worst kind besides being a liar and a fraud. But people don't talk about him being a liar because he has the whole press behind him. And the Jackie Mason, you once said, and I'm, I'm quoting from what, something I've read, we are not obligated to victimize ourselves by letting the Arabs play Russian roulette with Jewish lives. Right. A lot of my listeners feel that Barack Obama is doing just that right now, creating policies and an attitude uh, which allow not only uh, Arabs but but Americans to enable Arabs to play Russian roulette with Jewish lives. I feel about a relationship with Israel under this administration. It's not recognizing the state of Israel and bombing the state of Israel every day. This is not the problem. <laughs> Israel should be trying to negotiate by closing out the settlements and talk to people. Why didn't, how come he didn't talk to Bin Laden? He come, how come he shot him? I... Bin Laden was trying to, to, kill, to kill Americans every day. So because of that, we looked for him and we shot him. And he's a hero for shooting him. But in Israel, when they have enemies like ah. Bin Laden, who are bombing Israel every day, we should be talking to them, or we should contain ourselves, or we should control ourselves. Why, Why has no one... That America should, 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 give up, should give up Hawaii and give up Pittsburgh. Why, and, and Why did they say that America should cut half his country off because, because the Al-Qaeda doesn't like us either? If they placate the Al-Qaeda, maybe we should cut off half of America. That is so much common sense. I've never heard anyone say that. Why? I wonder why that is. By the way, Pittsburgh's my hometown. Don't cut it off. <laughs> 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 All right. Blame Israel for the peace process problem. Uh, Jackie Mason, listen, we appreciate you taking time to join us on the Rick Amato show.